We now move to the United States of America, where President Barack Obama used his State of the Union address on Tuesday night to urge Congress to pass legislation authorizing the ongoing war against state militants. Now, he also declared an end to the financial crisis and pledged economic policies to benefit all Americas in his annual State of the Union address to Congress. In his speech, Obama declared that America had turned a page after the worst recession since the Depression. His speech was also devised to appeal to working families as he outlined his strategy for middle-class economics. Some of his plans include building a competitive economy by improving America's infrastructure and providing free access to community college. Let's close loopholes so we stop rewarding companies that keep profits abroad and reward those that invest here in America. the companies to bring jobs home. Let's simplify the system and let a small business owner file based on her actual bank statement instead of the number of accountants she can afford. In a policy likely to bring him into direct conflict with the Republican-led Congress, Obama pledged to close tax loopholes on large inheritances, raise capital gains tax on the richest earners from 23.8% to 28%, and introduce new fees on U.S. financial firms with assets of about $50 billion. In Iraq and Syria, American leadership, including our military power, is stopping ISIL's advance. Instead of getting dragged into another ground war in the Middle East, we are leading a broad coalition, including Arab nations, to degrade and ultimately destroy this terrorist group. We're also supporting a moderate opposition in Syria that can help us in this effort and assisting people everywhere who stand up to the bankrupt ideology of violent extremism. Obama also said a U.S.-led coalition of countries is stopping the advancement of the IS group in Iraq and Syria and will continue working against extremist groups. But many of the proposals outlined in Obama's address, while popular with Americans, are unlikely to become a reality given Republican opposition and the fact that Obama will soon become a lame duck as the country turns its attention to the 2016 campaign to succeed him. Let's simplify America's outdated and loophole-ridden tax code. Republicans think tax filing should be easier for you, not just the well-connected. So let's iron out loopholes to lower rates and create jobs, not pay for more government spending. The president has already expressed some support for these kinds of ideas. We're calling on him now to cooperate to pass them. Obama is optimistic he could work with Congress despite months of political gridlock.